Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you guys are new to this channel and you went up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, first and foremost, I did not abandon you guys. I know you guys see me active on TikTok, not really on here. I've been telling you guys TikTok is booming gotta learn and adapt but aside from that remember we don't like to post boo boo here we only come on here when we have that grr, grr. so thank you for joining me and all the ones that were asking if i'm doing okay just because i don't post here we're doing good healthy we just came back from mexico we had a little bit of a vacation but we're back and ready and clocked in let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to grr. okay but why is poncho kind of fine hashtag giant oh, oh, oh. i appreciate that <laughs> Now, if you guys didn't see with our queen of hot Cheetos, Jenny69, she recently got jumped. When I first seen this, I said, wait, 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 because somebody reached out to me privately within their group. Yeah, feel me? You know, I also saw on TikTok when I first covered this, I saw a Chia comment. This is not cheese, man. Why are you covering this? You're going to get green lighted, red lighted, yellow lighted. If anybody gets in my face, I'm knocking them out. Come on, John Best. I yeah, mean yeah. what I say. Tommy's my time. I don't. Hijos de su reverenda. I've been threatened since the day I came on this platform. It's every week, every month. Somebody wants to take out my giraffe neck. Everybody wants to go after the giraffe neck and we don't move in fear. Yeah, feel me. We're out and about. So if you do find a brother, then say hi. <laughs> I don't know why they think that being an internet thug commenting down below. When I see you, but you ain't gonna do nothing. Se te va a tronar la cola de miedo. Because it's gonna be like el demonio right in front of you. But aside from that, this happened to our journey 69. My I was at the music video shoot. Go to Miss Lady Pink's, but please don't throw me under the bus and I'll tell you the cheese, man. They are beefing because Jenny69 is cool with some rapper from Texas and is a child brr, and Jenny is cool with that. According to Pink's, Jenny supports child brr in Texas. So Pink's and some other girl from Riverside jumped her. Jenny called the cops on them. I could not record it. It was so many cholos from the 90s. Well, Pinky clipped Jenny. They started going at it. Then the other girl got involved. It's because Pinky does not support child brr. This is some real stuff. Not no Lalo Gambrazi JOP on the Y'all, Jenny was gonna call the cops. Look at Pinky's story. And he said when he ran over there to see the fight, all he saw was them being separated and Jenny's cocodrilo. Still look cute. One of the young ladies that jumped Jenny69 posted this confirming that they fought. Damn, this Rola Happy Sunday Jenny said it best. Don't just bark. We the dog pound, baby. <laughs> baby, Pitbulls, baby. I'm going to bump this all day. And she was playing Jenny69's song. And she proceeded to post, everybody's a gangster until a gangster walks in the room. room. And then Miss Pinky posted on her story that she doesn't support Chao Brr. Anybody who supports Chao Brr is trash too. Time to take out the basurita. And if you see here on Jenny69's Instagram post from seven weeks ago, you can see right there that she's been having this tension towards Miss Jenny69. But we actually got a little bit more insight. The real reason why she has this sort of tension towards Jenny is because of the one singer SPM, because of the way he did her best friend dirty, because of her crossing with the Cholo style, with the Buchona style, and getting the praise and recognition for it. Meanwhile, her songs are flopping and she's getting too damn old so since jenny posted that video of her singing along to spm it gave her an excuse to try to make her look bad like she supports a brr, but in reality she has hater beef and she used that excuse and jump in her the achievement goes way too deep but jenny just happens to be caught in the middle of something that is way Bigger. Now, upon further investigation and people within their group, yeah, feel me, were reaching out to me within their cholos. <laughs> their own cholos are reaching out to me and giving me the cheese, man. I hope you guys understand that. How else am I getting all this information? You guys don't, you guys, don't, these cholos don't really think that much, do they? Now, there's nothing against cholos. I'm just telling you how it is. Your own group within your group is reaching out to me. So before you want to come after me and say, I'm the snitch, I'm the rat, you got to check your own group and see who's infiltrating to daddy panchito now to my knowledge the young lady pinky uh jumped her with this other riverside hot cheeto queen to my knowledge uh she's claiming the reason she jumped jenny is because she supports this guy named by the spm or something like that some sort of singer but that's not the case the case is that she already had some sort of ongoing tension with the spm guy allegedly because she did her best friend dirty miss pinkies and then they basically took out their anger with jenny 69 jenny 69 if you guys didn't know she's been trying to you know pursue this bichon 
Corona, this, you know, Chola kind of career. So when you do start messing with that, at the same time, you know, I don't advise people to go jump them. Yeah, feel me. But if you're getting involved with that type of scene, uh, what do you expect, Jenny69? And then my other question that was going around is, where the flying Dublin is a pelon? <laughs> Where the flying Dublin was her pelona when all this happened? Flying Dublin. Now I don't agree with all this, and now now the girls are saying that oh my face looks pretty, nothing happened to me. I'm listening to Jenny sixty nine music all day. You can tell these girls are you know kind of giving off hater energy, and there was already tension there to begin with, like they just disliked her for some sort of reason. But what do you guys think of the whole situation of our queen Jenny sixty nine getting jump, jump, jump? I do feel bad because that's our Cheeto. That's our Cheeto. But make sure to comment down below. And did you guys see for the next thing, a brief summary. If you guys missed the full live, remember you go on my second YouTube channel. I post all the full live in details. If you guys didn't see, I'm just gonna do like a quick summary here. No, the product was beefing with Latina Beauty because Latina Beauty allegedly got friend zone and this happened. My you, yes or no, you told me. You knew Softy was falling for you. You knew that shit was sad. You knew he was giving you them gifts. Yes, you knew you break it down Claudia, to him yes. so why is but it different yes. but what why I, is it different but what did i say I'm, once once it, it got off the internet no it down because you. once we got off the internet it was nothing you didn't let it be nothing once we got off the internet once we got off the internet the cameras were turned off it was something else that's what you keep downplaying you. you keep downplaying that you I'm keep downplaying it. it. You are downplaying it. You're downplaying it right now. You're trying to compare that to that other situation. It has nothing to do with it. Because if we and you would have went on live together and we would have said the things that we said and we got off of life and you would have told me like, hey girl, like that was funny. We had a great life. But like, honestly, I'm not feeling it like that. Nothing would have ever went any further. Ever. I never said ever. I never. So I it's never... not comparable. It's not comparable. Because I made sure that that person knew my boundaries. I made sure. Never once out of live did they get that type of conversation out of me. Never once out of live when we met in person did they ever get that energy out of me. So that's not comparable. That's not comparable. And did you keep trying to bring up, oh, going live with guys, flirting with guys, do this? I don't do it anymore, bro. Stop what the playing. hell are you talking about, Claudia? On my birthday, so we did nothing but have fun. At the end of the night, I went to bed with my sister. What nothing happened you, between me here. and anybody else on my birthday. The okay, lines so never got blurry. They knew that they were friends. How did, uh, no, I really want to know, how did the lines get blurry? How did the lines get blurry? Because never once did I with Gilbert like that. Never once did I with Michael like that. And they both know that they were friends. And we've always been nothing but friends. There was never one moment in that single live stream on my birthday that was like, oh man, they might be sleeping. No, that's just something that you kept making up in your head. And it's not. That's what makes, that's also what makes me really angry is that you keep trying to compare this to this, those situations and you're like, well, you were doing this with, and it's like, I wasn't even doing anything. I think it's These just friends. Not, okay, we're friends. When I say, oh, we're, we're not like, you know, we're not like in a, in a thing, we're not in a relationship or whatever. Like, that's just what it is. Like we talked, we tried it, it didn't work. That's it. That doesn't, no te quita nada, bro. Like, I've never dragged you. There's not been a moment where somebody can take my video and be like, oh, Latina this, Latina that. No, bro. I value you. If anything, I wanted to be your friend because I do value you. But I'm not here to force anything either. I don't feel like you really realize how many times you really sat here and you were just like, we've been nothing more, but we've never been anything more but than friends. It's always been friends. The amount of times that you said that is, is crazy. And that's the thing that, that's the, I think that's the part that gets me. You're like, no te quita nada, no te quita nada. Except for the fact that that was somebody that I cared about. And they're just sitting here being like, oh yeah, that's like, that's cool. But like, we were, we were just buddies, right? I didn't say we were just buddies, right? Friends are the same thing. I mean, buddies, friends talking like, okay, so buddies, like that's what I'm, so now I'm going on the internet be like, me and her are buddies. You're not saying buddies, you're saying friends. We've never been anything. But I went friends. on the live, but I went on live and told people how flexible you were. So when was I like, yeah, so that's working? why I don't understand how you also went on the podcast we and you were joking. like, I never f***ed them. I never f***ed them. And they had millions of followers. Girl. Girl, girl, let me tell you something, and I'm sorry, this one's gonna hurt, but I wasn't talking about you, mama. I wasn't mm -hmm. talking about you. I was not talking about you. You, said, you were speaking about multiple. You weren't just talking about one. Baby you said girl. Day. Baby you girl. Said day. Baby girl. Baby girl. You know one of the people that I'm talking about. They have more followers than you, mama. So I'm not talking about you. 
Yeah, do the math and the <laughs> and the arithmetic. I was not talking about you. So for you to go and say all that shit and because you got triggered because of something that was not about you. We try to downplay a lot of things. We did. But I'm not talking about you, Latina. Maria, now come on now. Watching you downplay a lot of shit was definitely not, it wasn't easy to watch. I, def I definitely could have handled this differently. Um, that person shouldn't have messaged me in the first place. Those messages that have never been leaked, all of this could have been definitely handled a different way. And I think that's like the main point of this live. It's just like, I'm not gonna let it happen again. I feel like at this point, if it could just like go away. <laughs> so from what I'm understanding is Latina Beauty thought there was something rather than nothing. And the other girl hit her with the sorry about that. It's just the way it is. It kind of seems like she was let on Latina Beauty, but I'm not too quite sure. It does seem like they resolved their issue at the end of the conversation. But Latina Beauty was triggered for a second there. Also, shout out to Latina Beauty. She did say she watches us because she said fly in Dublin. Who was on the live and she said, if I say one of your phrases, you won't post this cheese man and she said the phrase fly in dublin he's a dublidian a dublidian citizen within i really appreciate you for checking in on our cheese man but if you've been watching me you already know there's no favorites and for the world news did you guys see with kim kardashian and the halloween costume that she did for her kids my Now, if you guys aren't aware of what's going on with Palestine and the whole situation, how a lot of innocent people are losing their lives, I'm not too quite sure where her half a chia peanut brain is located at for her to think, hmm, let me actually do this costume where my kids are filled with blood with jerseys. A lot of people were upset because Kim K did this. And like I said, it sucks that innocent people are losing their life because of, you know, leaders in the world, leaders in the world can't get their things together. Why the fly in Dublin are kids losing their life? Because these idiot grown-ups can't figure it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I really do appreciate you guys. And stay tuned, we're coming with some banger interviews this month. This month is gonna be hot 99 point 9k ggi with interviews see ya estoy en depresión que depresión ni que sea póngase las pinches pilas cabrón que que dijo